Uh, hey. Where are you going today, Evie? Did you see You're that? gonna go Sandy get your ears tested. Where's your ears? Calm down. You've got nothing. Where's Listen, your ears? Get on that court That's so your that nose. Where's your ears? Here's your ears. You're gonna test your ears. Here's your nose. Look, one Evie knows. Where's Evie's hair? Where's Evie's hair? Yeah! Where's your ears? Where's your ears? Evie, where's your ears? Keep him under pressure. Evie's already already for your appointment for your ears. You look pretty. Just could do with the iron now. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name's Kirsty and I'm a mummy of four. So in today's video, um, Evie has got her audiology appointment. So we're on our way to the children's hospital now. Um, Lexi and Esme have actually gone in, in my mum's garden because at the moment you're allowed to be in the garden, although the weather at the moment is pretty poor. Um, so yeah, we're on our way there now. So it's now the next day and I'm just gonna explain um, why Evie went to the hospital to get her ears checked. Um, so Evie is going to be two on the 15th of June and at the moment she doesn't have any words. Um, so I've not been worried until the past couple of months. Um, then now I've started to think or maybe she should be speaking now or having just at least one word. So she we had an appointment a while ago but all this corona happened and we had to cancel it and now luckily they were able to fit us in so that's where we went yesterday um it's so weird going out there especially like with all this going on but they were so good they had like boxes and only a couple of people were allowed in the waiting room and um yeah it was very very well prepared and we went in it was two male lovely doctors they were so lovely evie was absolutely petrified she was clinging on for me for dear life i didn't realize how scared she was but again with all this happening she's not going out and seeing anyone she's and i feel like it's just as with all kids at the moment it's it's going to be so hard for them when they actually have to go and see everything again so yeah she was petrified grabbing on for me for dear life um but they were so amazing they were so lovely and you could just tell that they they were perfect to work for children so it starts off he gets some toys out and he's going to try and distract evie a little bit and there's these two tall like i don't know how to explain so like there were boxes but they were like stacked up so like i don't know three or four boxes it was pitch black you couldn't see anything in it and the same that side so as the, uh, the man's playing with the toys, they start making a sound, lighting up, and the, on the top one there's like a puppy dog, like, <laughs> like moving up and down. And uh, so the man says, Evie, look. So Evie look, turns around and looks at the, looks at it. And then the man distracts her again, playing. And then they make the noise again. But Evie wasn't turning, and the noise, he started off low, and then it was getting louder and louder and it was to the point where it was irritating my ears it was like i can't really describe the noise but making myself look silly as well like Whoa, whoo, whoo. and then look flashing lights and the dog was making weird you know <laughs> and the dog was moving about and evie didn't move like she was just watching the man playing with the toys um and they would be like evie look and then she would look and then they would do it again and she wouldn't and then that's when I started to be like, oh my god, it is her ears. Like, she's not turning. The, these sounds, they're so, they're so loud. Why isn't she turning? And then he did the other side. And I think it was Elmo in there. And he said, because he was, she was uh, sat on my lap just facing them. And he said on that one, she stayed, her face stayed still. But her eye, the corner of her eye, she was looking at um, Elmo so then they did the they looked inside her ears to check um that was fine and then they did the hearing test where they put um put it inside her ear which i thought she was going to freak out at but all it took was a bit of stroking and she was absolutely fine um 
and that came back fine as well. So big, big relief on that side of it. She can hear absolutely fine. She just, um, I don't know. <laughs> she just must zone out, I feel. Um, I did ask the doctors why, like, why wasn't she turning to the really loud sounds? And the doctor said that it might be that it's, it's too young for her now, but it would be too old to play games with her, which I'm not too sure on this one because I feel like Evie is very, very young for her age. Like her favorite thing to do is to just sit and watch little baby bum. She doesn't really play a lot. Um, she just likes to sit and watch little baby bum. So things like that I thought she would probably more be drawn to. Anyway, I was very happy with that result. So then the doctors asked me, like, do I know what the next step is? Obviously about her speech because they sort of work together with the speech and language therapy. And I told them what's happened already. So I've already emailed speech and language therapy because obviously at the moment everything is so hard with this corona. You can't go out and see people and that's so why I was really confused I was stressing out I didn't know what what I was supposed to do am I supposed to be getting her help now like it's it's really like I don't know where I'm supposed to go what I'm supposed to do so I thought I'll just take it into my own hands I emailed speech and therapy um I just googled how to find their number they put me through to the right people and I basically told them what was happening with Evie and they said unfortunately they don't see babies until, well toddlers, until they're two years, I think it might be three months or four months, one of those, um, so she wouldn't be able to see Evie, but she said that if um, she wanted me to ring her, um, that would be absolutely fine, I thought wow that's amazing, lovely lovely lady, and I said yes, so she gave me a phone call and we spoke. I spoke through about what uh, Evie does and what she doesn't do, and then this lady, she sent me um, some advice and some how to how to talk to Evie and to try and get her to speak. And she emailed those through to me. I did take a look at those, but it was all things that I have been already doing with Evie. So it was a little bit like, oh, which was a shame. But it was so lovely of her to even email anything of that because she doesn't have to at Evie's age. So then I got another email out the blue and she asked me if I would like Evie to be referred to a paediatrician. Um, which was amazing. She said that it would take six to nine months and I said yes please that would be great because usually you have to like go to a doctor's or you have to be referred to be seen by the paediatrician so I thought well I'm not gonna be able to get to the doctor's anytime soon um, and yeah so I was really grateful that she would did that for me. Now I'm gonna tell you why she, um, she even offered for me to be referred to the paediatrician. So um, Evie is showing some signs of autism. Now, this is a really tricky one because signs of autism can also be, could also be mistaken for just signs that normal, normal children do. So it's a very, very tricky situation. It's all new to me as well. So basically my son got diagnosed with autism age 12 and this was February this year. So really new to me. Um, it happened year six. I'm not, I'm not going to del delve too much into this because this is obviously about Evie, but um, his year six teacher picked it up. I didn't have a clue. I always thought Hayden was Hayden, uh, but his year six teacher picked it up, and then we went through the channels, and he got diagnosed. And it was really, it was a really quick process. I know a lot of people struggle when they get really long, but they did do this online one with Hayden, and it took, it was really fast. So we was very, very, very lucky. So once you sort of read up about the signs and that, that was when I realised, like, back when Hayden was younger, and I think, oh, that's why that's why this that's why that and it and that's why i'm noticing with evie things so early on now um obviously her speech is a big part of that but then there are a lot of children who just don't speak for a, a little while while they're younger um so it could just be nothing and it could just be fine there's a bit of a worry when i do have one child who has autism and the lady when i had his um diagnosis did say it can be genetic so um there is that slight worry there obviously it wouldn't make any difference whatsoever um Evie's a lush little girl she's honestly so sweet and cute and her the things she does is is like 
just EV. So like I said, speech delay can be a thing with autism. It can just be a normal thing as well, though normal children can just not speak for a while or they can just have speech delay or have something else and not have autism. But the checking of the ears was the first thing that they get checked off to make sure that the hearing is fine and everything like that. So that's all checked off now and then next will be the paediatrician. So I've actually started filming Evie and any time that she does something I will film it and keep it in a special place so that I can show people and see whether this is normal behaviour or this is other behaviours and why she's doing it. Um, I'm going to insert some videos of Evie and what like the, the type of things that she does and if you're watching this video and your child does the same or anything let me know in the comments down below it'd be interesting to see um what you think whether you think evie's absolutely fine and i'm being absolutely stupid even thinking it or or you think it's for another reason i don't know um but yeah i'm gonna put some videos in of evie now <laughs> If I'm lost along the way If I wander off onto a different trail Will you forgive me if I fail When I'm lost and erased If I cry when I'm blue If I cry alone when I am with you Will you forgive me if I do If I cry when I'm blue Trouble and pain If ever If I'm wrong When you are right If I'm only seeing things in black and white Will you forgive me tonight? As you can see in the videos, like, if you like to spin, she does that a lot. Um, it used to be spinning round. Um, and sometimes she would do like a corner eye thing, look at the corner of her eye. At the moment now, she likes running around the room in circles, um, so that's changed already. She likes lining up her animals and cars and they have to be like very, you'll see in the video I think, they've got to be like in the line, so she pushes them together and then it ruins her line all the time. But she doesn't get angry or anything um, if it's messed up, like if I pull one out, she just gets on with it and puts it back in. I don't know whether that means that's a good sign. Um, she does make eye contact. Um, I feel like she does anyway. She, I notice she does look a lot on my lips, but again, she's not speaking yet, so that could be something to do with that. She doesn't always answer her name. This is where Evie zones out. She's watching um, her little baby bum. It sometimes takes quite a lot for to me to get her name or if she's playing with something. She seems to get very involved, so she will not answer you to what you're saying and it can get quite frustrating. It feels like it felt like sometimes she is listening but she just does she just ignoring. Evie. Evie, mummy open it. Mama open it. Mama open it. Evie. Evie. Can mummy open it for you? Evie. 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 
Evie, Evie, look at mummy. Evie, Evie, can you look at mummy? Can mummy open it for you? Thank you. Look at mummy. Look at me. Look at mummy. Evie, look at mummy. Evie, look at mummy. Evie's recently started clapping and pointing. Um, so she used to be like, go like this to clap. She now like does like that. It's getting better anyway. Um, she will point to things. She started to anyway. Um, not so much. She doesn't ask me for juice and she doesn't ask me for food. If she sees someone else with it, she will then like start to point and stuff like that. But she she won't otherwise she won't she doesn't seem to like play a lot um so i will get all the toys out and she'll just put them back in the box my favorite thing is to climb up onto the windowsill and sit and play on that for some reason that's she really enjoys that um she doesn't really have a sense of fear but i think a lot of children that age they don't have a sense of fear she tries to escape up the stairs all the time she has climbed out of a cot but she seems to sometimes forget how to do things so she's learnt how to climb out of her cot but she whinges and doesn't do it again so I feel like sometimes that she goes backwards um, with her learning like for instance one time she would I would ask her to bring me a nappy and she would do it she was doing it fine now when I ask her she brings me the wet wipes and I said no go get the nappy she'll go back and bring me the wet wipes again and then she'll go back and won't get anything and come back and just like with her speech um it feels like so long ago now but yeah it feels like it was maybe a dream like it was that long ago but she definitely said like dada and now she doesn't say anything like she will go if you say if you go mama 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 she'll go mama 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 but it won't be because i'm mama it will be because we've told her to say it but then she stopped doing that as well and so at the moment she's just like goes ah 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 at everything or like mmm mmm and that's how she'll try and communicate with us so if we just go back a bit to when Evie was born her first year Evie was born fine no complications whatsoever I think she was four days early um nice weight I think she was six four it's a little bit diddy um no concerns whatsoever in her first year she seemed to crawl pretty fast it wasn't a proper crawl it was like a commando but when she did it she did it really fast she was a little bit later than my others walk in i'm not sure if this is late with all babies but it was just late to me all my other babies they walked around 12 months uh lexi was just before 12 months hayden was just after i think esme wasn't long after 12 months um but Evie was, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was 16 months old she started walking. Um, so it's probably not late with babies, but that was late to me when my other babies were quite earlier. So, but that didn't, uh, didn't click, nothing, no concerns there. Just everybody's different, aren't they, with walking. And she was babbling then as well, thinking about it. Like, if I look back on the videos, she was like, ba 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 da 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 like, sort of thing, talking. So I felt, kind of feel like she's lost that a little bit now. Yeah, no concerns up until like recently really. Probably the last f f mm, the last six months I'd say. We've started thinking like, oh is this right? Is she developing right? I feel like she feels still like she's a baby at the moment. Like she's my little baby. She's always going to be my little baby. She's my youngest. But yeah, I feel like maybe she's quite babyish at the moment. Um, but yeah, it's just going to be one of them things where we just wait and see what happens. We're doing the right things at the moment. Like I said, everything could be absolutely fine and I'm just being like over dramatic. But um, it'd be interesting to see what you guys, if you guys are going through the same. I'm just posting this because I know that there's probably a lot of people going through the same and not knowing. I mean, I didn't even have a clue this is, this was a thing like with Hayden. It's like, and I'm... I feel bad for him because I didn't know and someone else had to tell me and all those years he could have been getting help. It makes me a bit upset. Um, all those years he could have been getting help, he didn't. So I don't want to make the same mistake again if there, like, if there is something wrong. And then I want her to get the he all the help she can. Um, but yeah, like I said, there, it could be nothing. Anyways, I'll be sure to update you guys on anything that does happen.
as we go on and I hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe um, so you can see future videos put the bell button on as well and I'll see you in the next one bye <laughs>